Okay. Hopefully that fixed it. If not, maybe I'll have to do more in-depth research on it. Or maybe it's, it's just as good as it's going to get. Uh, say... Cheeseburger. Ooh, that's a lot better. That's only like three or four seconds. Because that way I don't have to like guess what you're, uh... What you're commenting on because of something I did like 20 seconds ago. Man, I wish I had fixed this for Resident Evil. Making progress. Okay, so I got... Oh wow, that is clearly not the, the part of the lake. Or I guess it is. Okay. Shia, what is wrong? I am a stranger. Talk to me. Yep, whole, whole little tiny lake. I'm just not ready to leave. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back? Girl, I am sure you are not the first kid to not want to leave. Why can't I come back and visit him after I said so? Our people have had uh, that tradition for so long, I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because we're always done. Yeah. Now, if they live in like an archipelago or something... But see, yeah, there's no way to even know. These people, they're, if they've been here their whole life, there's no way to know that these kids are going to be safe. I'm sorry, I'm just upset. Thank you for listening. I'm a really good listener. I don't even know how to talk. I am Shia Nan. Welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever. It's part of me excited, but I'm scared I'll be lonely out there. I'd be scared of a whole lot more than that. I'd be scared of sea monsters, sunburn, starvation. Running into a crab lobster ship. Might take me a while. Thirst, you right? <laughs> I did a pregnant pause there. Um, I know I just met you, but would you maybe want to come with me? Is that allowed? Oh, well, you'd be a good friend. No. Sounds rough. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Get to go along with each other? No, you have to go by yourself. It's tradition. Wow, really? This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. I didn't say yes. Look, I... Look, oh, I can emote. I can speak emoji. Hmm, well then we'll just have to go find them. Oh, there's one last thing I need to do before we set so Maybe you can help me. Smiley emoji. Always want to have my home close by, so I need a good handful of soil to bring with us. I just need a, a jar of dirt. She wants a jar of dirt. Can you please find some soil for me? You can find the best soil where the forest, coastline, and grassland meet. Sounds like sounds like a tradition I would come up with. Fifteen, that's too long. Let's, if it were me, it'd be like ten. Maybe eight. Eight feels right. When you find it, can you please put some in this bag for me? A bag of dirt. Alright, so I have to go to where the ocean, the forest, and the grassland meet. Which would, I guess, be this map. <laughs> yep. Oh, I found the dirt that was, uh, uninteresting. 
scoop, scoop, scoop. I got a jar of dirt. Fetch quest complete. This oil looks great, thanks. Map piece? I think that was the last thing I needed. I'm ready to sit still. The high seas is no match for us. I'm not going with you. Oh wow, her name is Carto. And she can talk. Unless she's like a Pokemon and all she can do is say her name. If you want to go get ready, I'll meet you in the North Pier with my ceremony. Ugh, oh, I mean. So I, the little prologue was very short and was very fast. It looked like I lived with my grandmother. She was showing me a model of something, or a map I guess, but then a storm blew me out the window. I got the impression I fell from the sky. I don't look 15. May I ask you a favor? Please take this memento with you. I don't even know you. Why are you give why aren't you giving this to that girl who doesn't want to leave? And if you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him. The odds are low, but I'll just take any chance I can get to send him more love. You don't love him though. You just send him off to the ocean. The dangerous, very very scary, dangerous ocean. Yeah, I don't understand. Hello, friend I just met. I'm about to go on a very dangerous adventure with. Can't believe the boat really came. You didn't even make this boat. It just, you just... Well, this is... This is creepy. So, the island and the boat and I guess the sea just know when someone turns 15 and they get sent a boat. I'm being very critical of this. Let's just go with the flow. Yeah. Oh, I can choose not to go. But I'm guessing if I say no, I'm just exploring some more, but... I don't think there's anything left to explore. I haven't looked at all the trophies, like maybe a couple of them, but I'm also not really going to worry about them on this playthrough. Yeah, let me just do a quick sleep real fast, make sure. I don't think there's anything. I think this is like the tutorial island. What are the chances we actually find that lady's son? Catch this wind. Okay. Let's get the ceremony started. Yeah. This would be my new favorite game if it let me just throw that toy boat in the ocean right here in front of the mother. A parting gift for you. Necklace made from swordfish bones. I can't get over that kid. <laughs> Just the look on his face. I want to play as that kid. He's already got a wooden sword. <laughs> I want to play as him. I accompany you day and night. My beautiful daughter. Who I don't love and I'm definitely sending off to her death. The stranger. Against your will. Close your eyes and feel the gentle embrace of the wind. 
ass. May you find your destiny just as we found ours. Yeah, how crazy is it that you all came from different homes and ended up on the same island together? <laughs> he just fell on her. Thank you, everyone, for your blessings. I've come of age, and the world awaits. We'll be right back. She doesn't seem like she doesn't want to leave. Mm-hmm. Everybody's freaking out because she says she'll be right back. Aha, uh -huh, see pun that only we understand because we can see the text bubble. <laughs> Incognito. Hi, my name is Shionan. Yeah, we're getting attacked in all directions. I can see now why that kid wants a lobster, but. Still can't believe you'd never been sailing before. You're a salty old dog out there, Carto. How long has it been? I'll never know. You got us through that fog. Oh, there was fog. Wink emoji. No tradition says that I'm supposed to settle on the first island I find, but I think I'll do just a bit more exploring. Yeah. I'm glad that, yeah. Especially now that I know there are killer squid. Grassland doesn't look nice. Damn, this girl's breaking all kinds of traditions. What a free spirit. Oh, she's just going to leave me on this island. Totally going to find that sunken city. Whoa, that's the first I've heard about that. And I'm totally cool with it. Hmm. Oh my god, look at that sheep. I will name you Bartholomew. So precious. <laughs> Come in with me, Bartholomew. Let's give you some wheat. Let's give you some wheat. You want this wheat? We found you in the game. This is this is what what you you would totally be. I could just see you exploring the islands with the bongo. <laughs> Seemingly laid back, very annoyed by everything. Keep it down there listening. Grow, young seeds. <laughs> Listen to the rhythm rhythms of the earth and emerge yourself in sylvan slumber. Burst forth from your terrestrial prison and heed my funky beats. That's you. Heed them. <laughs> Oh, another sheep. <laughs> Gonna heed your funky beats. Maybe we put the two sheep together. Or, yeah, well, hang on. Sheep be friends.
Wow, Shire really did leave me here. That's crazy. Another one! Peter Pan? Whoa, my sheep! Have you seen my sheep? I can't get enough of these snowy flowers. Dad says they taste like marshmallows. I mean, I was already trying. I was already trying. Alright, there's one sheep there, one sheep here, and one sheep here. Sleepy Shepherd. I just have a, I just have a C, a C map. That's weird. Whoa, he just stuck his tongue out of me. farting on me. It's the most delicious plant in the grassland. Maybe Auntie Tuya knows. She's a rhythm farmer. You are a rhythm farmer, Talon. Give me some of that wheat. Looks like Mo lost his sheep again. Typical. Her name is almost similar to yours as well. To you, Tyler. How can you be a shepherd when counting sheep puts you right to sleep? And now I suppose he's asked you to round them up. Well, I bet they'd follow if you had some honey fruit. Just don't confuse honey fruit with the red devils. We didn't have a song about it. Bulbs of red, Swedish sugar, only has one stem. Don't confuse it with the devil, steer clear of them. Bulbs of red. Do I need three? I'm going to feed this sheep devil fruit and kill it. <laughs> yeah. I guess I only need the one though. Let's see. Come on, Samson. Samson, Bartholomew, and Jeffrey. Oh, his name is Bradley. No, his name is Bartholomew. Nope. Samson. Sylvia. I actually like Sylvia better than Jeffrey. I don't see Penelope anywhere. She must have gone to her secret spot in the middle of the snowy flowers. What? Oh, what if I gotta put all of the flowers together? Which I thought I already did, but I guess not. They look like they're together.
<laughs> I like to have a hill right there. Two, you yeah, help me. She's not gonna help me anymore. Talk to dude one more time. We checked my LPC for spot, it's hard to see, but it's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. Out of here, water square. I don't want you. There we go. Solved it. I didn't know squares could magically pop up, though. That's good to know. Penelope, you little shit. Let's go. Don't you ever disappear off the map like that again. Master puzzlers from the beginning. We know all the solutions immediately. You found all my sheep. You're really good at finding things. Maybe you can find my dad. Whoa. We're getting into some... Some heavy problems. Did you lose your dad? He's always on the hunt for new plants. Come visit our tent, I can introduce you. Right. I live on the other side of this prairie, just follow the road. I'll meet you there. You just need to... Oh my god, you went back to sleep. What? What the hell is your problem? Oh my god, did he just... shit out a map? I picked it right up too. Didn't even hesitate. Hopefully. My dear sweet Carto. Oh, it's Granny. This was quite some, or that was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared, but your granddaughter, my granddaughter is strong. Don't worry about me. The airship is fine. Oh, we run an airship. Okay. That's very advanced. She's been through worse. People of this land are kind, kind of odd. Ha, you're so funny. And I know we'll find our way back to each other soon. It's in our blood. It's probably tradition, right? You're far from, you're far from my body, but you'll never be far from my heart. I would make sure to gather any pieces of the map you see. It'll help you find your way in the world. Now get out there and have some fun. Oh. East or west? Oh, never mind. We're going north and south. Tradition dictates. Oh, the music. Whoa, how did you get up here, Tuya? Every plant has its own rhythm if you pay attention. Listen. That's not a word. Backages instead of cabbages. Dude, this lady is high. 24-7, you know she is.
Now quit interrupting me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this little kid. I saw Lazuli, or, uh, Lazuli Leaf. I know. Leaf yesterday, don't tell teacher. Gonna become a master plant collector like Mongar. This class is the best. I mean, it, it, I would, it, I would guess yes. It blooms in the moonlight and burrows underneath during the day. Wow, wow, wow. This is B bristle. It looks soft, but don't touch it. I hope I don't have to remember all this. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello there. Don't mind us. We're just in the middle of class. Are you looking for Mo? This is his usual route home. Just follow the curved roads and you'll see his tent. Sometimes he stops by the river, though. You can follow the straight roads there. Oh, and please tell him that a sheep got into my cabbages again. My cabbages! Curved roads to tent. That didn't work. make a circle. I don't I only have the one curved. that I have an actual, uh, I have an extra piece. Okay, let's... let's try that. I keep forgetting that I pick up new pieces and I don't even notice that they're flashing down there. So this should be the straight roads to the bridge. secret mission I mean a regular normal task that I definitely can't talk about look I really can't say anything just that I'm looking for the head of the river we heard that a special plan appears there under the right conditions and 
one that it might be Ghost Lily. That's all I can tell you, nothing else. I'll just get back to the mission. I'm so close. Okay. Oh, curved. Boom. Man, that's such a long walk. Such a long walk. Damn, I can't. I was gonna teleport. No road ahead. On the sign, it looked like there's also a tent that just popped up there as well. Sack full of flourishing flowers. Hello? Oh, hey Mo. Tried to get some shut up but Penelope kept farting. Yeah, those damn sheep. Are you sure you didn't give her any red devils? Anyway, I wanted to introduce you to my father. He's collected plants from all over. Oh, maybe that was the dad at the river. He's just through the curtain over there. No, it's definitely not the same person. their jelly. A hearty hearth. I've only got through the curtain either. Well, let me through. Bigger on the inside. Pot of simmering cabbage soup. My Samo tells me you've helped him find his sheep. My thing's young sapling. Oh, don't be shy. Whoever comes to this grassland is our friend. My name is Monkar. The Mighty. Regularly travel to the grasslands with my buddies to research plants. We also exchange seeds with other tribes so they can grow every type of plant. We're also keeping an eye out for a new species. Just yesterday, we discovered a new type of rose. Now, if only we could come up with another name for it. I don't have a grassland. I live from the, I'm from the sky. The seaweed in your hair was a dead giveaway. How do you even know about multiple islands? You're only, you were you were from an island and then you had to settle in the first island you found. Unless I guess maybe they heard it from other people when they came to this island. but filled with handwritten notes about different plants. Dancing pines, they sway in the rhythm of the wind, something. Sashaying. That's a, that's the word of the day. Sashaying into adjacent forests. The sour potato. Only one can grow every square mile, having absorbed the ambient new sourness of all surrounding. False moss. Not actually moss at all, but a carpet of pygmy grasshoppers. Possible. What exotic land have you traveled from? Uh, an airship in the sky.
can see why I brought you to me with something. I mean, do I have to, though? A neat plant grows in each grassland, and ours is mysterious ghostly. Glows with the most beautiful light, but it is as ephemeral as its name. Curse. Oh, you poor girl, you must be famished. Okay. Look at me prattling on about plants. Yeah, I'll have it up on YouTube. Will you stay for dinner and bunk here for the night? Just give me some of that jelly. Bye. some air in the meantime I can't get away from nature for too long I mean, you you're literally wearing a leaf hat take nature with you everywhere you go Gengo lives near the Smells like Uncle Ganga. Nope, nobody in that forest. so far yeah what's weird though is how the rooms work like these tents are connected obviously but they're not really oh wait there okay okay I wonder what the little arrows on the maps are for Maybe I have to make the forest bigger. on the head of the river my is it dinner time already time flies when you're solving mysteries just go eat 
explore there tomorrow, though I don't think these little urchins will let me go. Would you mind bringing them glow leaf, or bringing this glow leaf to Monkar for me? Sure. I will do this thing you ask absolutely for free. Time for dinner. Up. Did you like my prairie pie? My mom taught me how to make it before she passed on. Really reminds me of her. She's among the stars now. Yep. Song of growth. We sing it uh, in harmony with the grasslands. Dad says that every land has a voice if you listen closely. Tuya says the same thing. Mom taught him to sing with the seeds. He's going to teach me soon. I can't wait. I like how he's got glasses. That might be my favorite part of this game so far. Are, are these uh, very primitive people? And <laughs> they've invented glasses. King has spotted a ghost slowly. Everyone's on their way. Come join us. I saw the ghost only for a second, but then the flow of the river changed. I'll have to wait till the direction changes for it to appear again. If only we could change the flow of the river. The flow changed. Now we just need to hide. Well, that was super easy. Penelope. Oh my god. Oh, that was Bradley. Sorry, Penelope. Bradley! Oh my god. If I were a ghost, Lily, where would I go? The Mr. Deepens. Well, she's stuck on this bridge. Seems stuck. Oh no, I just went off the map. We're in limbo. Forty Cardo Realist. Shia just straight up left me. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Creepy. Hello, owl. The trailer gave this away. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something very basic. I did make a circle. Complex. You a messenger too? Where's your beard? Man, I'm holding too many things.
Hey, new map piece. Scary ass vulture. Maybe that's the vulture. Roads within the fog, fog within the mind. Come from across the sea, but I've ventured deep inland, curious. I'm Rykad of the wood of the redwood forest. My this man is Niep. Good luck to you, sir. Oh, jeez. Looks like we have a uh, Lost Woods scenario. Yeah, I think it has something to do with these ribbons on the trees, I think. Did I do it? Yeah! Oh, that's deeper for us? Hello, bear! It may not be a pathfinder, but his strength is mighty. No obstacle can stop us. Hello, forest friend. I'm Chalmek of the Evergreen. This furry fellow is my animal companion. Don't worry, he's a friend too. Where's your animal companion? I don't have one. It's amazing that you've come this far without a companion. We grew up alongside the our animals. So wait, these aren't the same traditional people as the islanders? Yeah, that guy has an owl though, they need to give me one. They help us search for food, protect us from danger, and keep us warm at night. Such great friends. He's gonna eat you in your sleep. fog ah wrong button fallen tree fallen tree Oh, 
Oh, I messed up. Dang it. Tree changed. Okay. I had to follow the whichever way the trees pointed. He has a fox. Wait, does is the tree woman to go this way? Nope. Shit. I guess the path doesn't matter, it just wants me to go in that direction. have been ushered in it seems you far you in deeper we're almost at mother oh snap we're going to meet mother a hug and some mixed grass tea that's the life for me What's the indicator here? Maybe the way the trees are tilted? Maybe. Hmm. Trees are tilted. Too easy. Probably going to go for another 30 minutes. I'm aiming towards r roughly two hours, at least two hours a day on the weekends.
two hours feels like nothing though. Oh, another letter from Granny. My little cartel, I hope you're having the best adventures. Did you visit the grassland? I'm sure you learned how new plants have you did. The airship is finally operational again. She's humming along better than ever. I'm dropping this letter in the wildwood, hoping you'll pass there. If you ever find yourself lost in there, head toward the center of the forest. An old friend of mine watches over a very special tree. I wonder if he'll remember me. I'll keep searching and keep your eyes to the skies. Or I can keep your eyes to the skies. We'll be together before you know it. Alright, so I have to make a center of the... Okay, okay. It might get harder. Maybe. Not much of a tree. seem to map up together. About to meet a little worm. A little worm with gigantic eyeballs. Ah, oh, she's right. She's always right. It's true. Cherub lost his sapling. So ashamed. What will Mother think? What does Cherubs do? Where does he go? It's almost time for the ritual and no time to go back to his forest. If only Cherub had something to replace sapling with. Have a ghost lily. This is not a sapling, but perhaps it will work. A plant is a plant is a plant. Thank you, beardless. Whoa, that's rude. Here's 
huge pile of dirt. Only an expert can remove it. The worm I have. Okay, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have to find the other end of that tunnel. Okay, there's the tunnel. Okay, okay. Just gotta find how to connect the tunnel. That's how that works, but now I have to get there, so I have to get to this map. harder having to think a couple steps okay all right now that I'm there I have to put the this back together simple music. I like it though. Broken stone bearing part of an incomplete symbol. Okay. Gotta find the other other rock. Other rock. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, so. Like that? is intense. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm guessing it all fits together somehow.
Squeeze on through, girl. Okay, so okay. All right, let's start from scratch, I guess. So clever. Wake up, I'm clever. Mother with a beard. Russell, 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 Russell. Whoa, speak words. Lululu, woo, 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 ba, 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 loo. Ah, much better. Almost forgotten how to speak the common language after all these years alone. Well, thank God. Wise as she is, mother isn't much for conversation. It was good to see you here, messenger, the first to arrive. Bravo. As you know, I am the watcher. Of course you are. Not the sleeper. You must have received the signal which forest you journey from and where's your animal companion. I'm not a messenger. I'm not an islander. I'm not a farmer. I'm not a rhythm bongo player. Hello, my tiny friend. You can come out now. Sure, not a messenger. Nope. Then how did you traverse these woods, wild as they are? With a wink emoji. I see. Still, you found your way through the underground maze and overcame the tricks of the wildwood. Navigation is in your blood, dear girl. You remind me of someone you know in my youth across the sea. Are you talking about my granny? There was a young woman. Have you caught a glimpse of the messengers yet? I wonder which will mother choose. I don't care. It's all very ancient and fascinating. Let's say we take a walk and I can give you the entire oral history. No, thank you. Humor and old man, I haven't spoken to anyone in decades. I mean, come on. Oh. Her life essence carpets the entire forest, spurring a millennium of new growth. Oh, it's what's his face? That doesn't use a lot of words. Neep, that's his name, Neep, of Barons and Vulture. Travel to far, we bring sapling, I will be watcher. Yes, hello, welcome. Oh, so they take their place? That sucks. Please go and wait by mother and we'll be with you shortly. This is a very de depressing world to live in. You get shipped off when you're 15, you wander the woods as an old bearded person until you can just replace the next bearded person. Bearing a sapling from their village, once the messengers reach mother and plant their saplings, they must recite the 87 stanzas of the rhyme of the wildwood. No thanks. Tidings, watcher, and to you too, small one. There's no surprise you here. Thank <laughs> you. 
and my bear. Truly, it's an honor to be in Mother's Embrace. I feel cozy already. Welcome, messengers and woodland companions. Please gather a mother. I'm almost done regaling my friend here with the traditions that I don't really care about. After the saplings are planted, mother will choose one of them to embody her regrowth. Oh no, am I gonna... Is it the guy that I gave the ghost lily to? That doesn't have a sapling? Is he gonna be get chosen? As each watcher grows old, another from their tribe will take over so that the older watcher may go home and live out the days of their village. There's me a guest. I'm the final watcher of my line, and I'm ready to return to my village. Hmm, I wonder if they still make those toasted bananas back home. Toasted bananas. Churb is exhausted. <laughs> Definitely original sapling. Uh, coniferous. Cherub is definitely going to be chosen. First I thought it was whoever gets there first. Children have traveled far this forest. Redwood, barrens, evergreen, or coniferous. And I watch are ready for my rest. We gather here to begin your rebirth. Those are just several the strongest, most beautiful specimens of your forest. <laughs> Let us plant them and star mother from her slumber. This ghost lily is gonna fuck everything up. He looks so nervous. Watcher is Cherub of the Coniferous. <laughs> oh my god, I would never want to be chosen. Owl seems depressed as hell. You shouldn't have lost your sapling, Cherb. Watch the tree, or poor Cherb <laughs> and Cherb's owl. Russell, Russell, Russell. Was 
was destiny that you should come here, and with this, you'll never lose your way in the wildwood. I'm glad you could join us, and thank you for helping Chirp replace his lost sapling. Damn, it's a big house. To bring let out of the wildwood, little cartographer arrived at a strange building hidden amongst the trees. What? This book's being written as I... She followed her curiosity inside and picked up the first book that she saw. Just then, the story tender entered. Oh, this is some meta fourth wall breaking stuff. Yaddy, I'm messing up. Yeah, the audio is messing up, or yeah, you can hear me. Oh, okay. That was weird. Yeah, when I looked over at my laptop on the stream or whatever, it was loading in, but I refreshed it. That was weird. Oh, uh, there's that darn book. Been looking everywhere. Yeah, but where does it, how does it end? Ghost lilies, bear hugs, farting sheep. Yeah. Clearly you have good taste. Welcome to the story shop. We're not easy to find, but you have a nice lunch. I'm the story tender and take care of my rather unique library. And your big ass potions that are the size of your head. In fact, they've been changing rather quickly of late. I was just in the middle of sorting some books, but these old bones could use a break. Let me show you how things work around here. This is the desert wing of the chalet. The chalet? The sh chalet? I'm pretty sure it's not that. Not to be confused with the desert wing, which is sadly still under construction. Like I mentioned, each wing contains stories related to a specific area of the world. So this is basically like the hub world. Recently started reading a good one in this very room. It was about an old lady searching for her granddaughter in the desert. Probably not the same. What a good premise. When I left off, the granny was getting a bit exhausted. I can see you're excited about learning. Oh, to be a curious young mind again. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Searching the sands. Destination desert. Desert could be harsh place, some resilient nomadic people. The shifting sands were a way of life after confirming the floor or confounding the floor and bottom. Within the tumult, a wise and woman searching for her granddaughter. They had been separated by a storm, yet yearning to be together. Oh, maybe it is the same. Maybe it is us. In your sandwiches. When the sandstorms were at their most fierce, whole camps would be buried. Roots leading back to the grassland and other neighboring regions would disappear. These paths could be found again by intrepid 
adventurers or at times unwitting wanderers. Got a creak in your floor, bro. While wow, the typewriter is definitely typing itself. So we're basically the magical cartographers. Yep, they travel by airship, quietly observing from high above, barely disturbing the people below. Their navigation skills were peerless, passed down to the collection of memory of their ancestors. Simply, they were cartographers by trade and by blood. Stretched to fit any size foot, raised the running speed of its wearers. In the grassland wing of basement two. Okay. style ballad of the sour potato begonia bop mongar's mournful melody hey there dahlia all right so it's clearly wanting me to get these boots that i would love to get but there's still only four rooms, right? That doesn't really change. So this is the first floor. I'm guessing I can leave from there. Okay, so this first floor...
Basement one. Salsa basement one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. So I had to make a two stories so that I have a basement two. And then the grassland. Okay, I got the boots. So now I'll move faster. Nice, nice, nice. With her fancy new boots, the little photographer knew there was nothing that could stop her. She would head out across the river and find her way to the desert where she hoped her grandmother waited. Lily pads? Yeah. Trail to grassland, return to the grassland? No. Well, I guess I have to, though. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. It's been almost exactly two hours in the game. Did just save. I don't know if there's any manual save. But I'm definitely gonna hop back on tomorrow. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing at least two hours every Saturday and Sunday, and I haven't quite got a time down yet, but I'll add it into the schedule. And I'm mostly gonna be sticking to indie games. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.